All right, everyone. So now we're going to learn another method on how to group up the members, the values of dimensions into groups. And this time we're going to use the cluster groups in Tableau. But as usual, first, let's understand the concept behind it. Then we're going to learn how to build it in Tableau. So let's go. Alright, so cluster group is another way of grouping your data used for data clustering, which is a statistical technique to group up similar data points together. In data clustering, we have different algorithms to calculate the clusters. For example, we have the algorithm k-means and another algorithm called hierarchical clustering and another one called density-based clustering. And Tableau did decide to go with the k-mean algorithm since it's really simple and easy to implement. And the k-mean algorithm is widely used in data clustering. And now let me show you how the k-means algorithm works. Let's say that in our data set we have the following data points. So first we have to define how many clusters we want to build. So in this example we're gonna go with three clusters and after that the algorithm is gonna pick three points and we call them centroids. And then it's gonna assign the data points to the nearest centroid. So for this data point it's gonna belong to the green cluster. And then it's gonna go to the next data point and calculate the length between it and the three centroids. And then it's gonna assign it to the nearest centroid. For this it's gonna be the red cluster. So the algorithm gonna do that for all data points and assign them to the nearest centroid. So at the end we're gonna have three clusters, the green, red and blue. As you can see the key means is really simple and easy to implement. Alright, so now in order to understand the clusters, let's have the following task. The task says to identify high value customers by clustering them based on their sales and profits. In order to find out which customers generate the most revenue and which do not. Alright, so now in order to create the cluster group, we have to be at the worksheet page and this time we can create the clusters from the analytics pane. And we cannot do it at the data pane. So now let's see how we can create the clusters and we will stay with the big data source since we need a lot of data points. And here we need two measures, we need the profit, so let's drag and drop it on the rows. And we're gonna take the sales as well to the columns and with that we have two axes the sales and profit but what we are missing now in the middle is the customer's data each customer is going to be one point for that we're going to take the customer id and we're going to drag and drop it over here on the details on the marks all right so now we have the data points and each point represents one customer so now in order to create the cluster we're going to switch to the analytics pane so let's go over there and if you go to the models, you will find the cluster. So it's really easy. We just drag and drop it here on the name clusters. And here we will have a very simple window. So here it says the variables for the clusters are the sales and profit. And then we have the number of clusters. And here as a default, it's going to be automatic. That means Tableau going to figure out from the data how many clusters do we need. And here as a default, we have automatic. That means Tableau going to figure out how many clusters it makes sense to create from those data points. So as you can see, Tableau did already create the cluster and it created three clusters. But if you say, you know what, we want four clusters or five clusters you can go over here and define how many clusters do you need so if we have five let me just move it over here to see what is going on so we have now five clusters if you want to have two clusters we will have only two colors and so on so i'm gonna stay with the three clusters it makes sense so that's it in this window there is no okay or something so we're just gonna close it because tableau gonna create the cluster immediately all right so now we have the cluster the question is where do i find the cluster group well if you go to the data pane on the left side you will not find any cluster group over here because we have this information now only on the colors so this field here is our cluster. And now we might have this information, this cluster group in the data pane in order to use it in different views. So what we're gonna do, we can just drag it and drop it somewhere in the data pane. And now over here, we can see we have a new field and the icon indicates that this field is a cluster group. So now we're gonna give it the name, customer clusters. All right, so now we can reuse this cluster in different views if we need. All right, so now the next point is how we can edit our cluster. So now we have three clusters. How about we want to change it to four? How we can do it? We will go to the marks over here, right click on it. And here we have the option of edit clusters. So let's select that. We will get again the same window. So in order to change the number of clusters, we will not do it at the data pane. We're going to do it at the marks. So this is how you edit the clusters.
Now, if you go over here again and click right click on the clusters, you can find we have another option called describe clusters. So here we're going to find more information about our clusters. So let's select that. So as you can see here, we have a lot of information about our clusters. So first we have the input for the algorithm or for the clustering algorithm. So the variables are the measures that we used in our view. So the sum of profit, the sum of sales. And the next info is the level of details. Usually here we have the dimensions and we are using now the lowest level of details, the customer ID, since each data point represents a customer. Then we have more information about our clusters. So the number of clusters we defined are three. The number of data points, the number of customers, we have 800 customers. And then we have a table over here for each cluster we have informations, like the number of items or the number of data points inside each cluster. So in the cluster one, we have around 617 customers. In the cluster two, we have 171. And cluster three is the lowest, we have 12 customers. The centroids of each cluster, the central points of clusters. So if you need more statistics about our clusters, we can find it inside Describe Clusters. All right, guys, so it's really fun to work with the clusters and I found different people use different designs on how to present the clusters. So for example, one design that I see almost everywhere is that if you go to the shapes over here and then choose the filled circle. And now if you have a lot of data points, what is interesting is that to see the overlapping between those points. But now it's really hard to see it in this view. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to focus about those data points. So let's select those stuff and then we're going to say, okay, keep only. Let's click on that. We have now like a zoom in in those points. So now in order to show those overlapping in better way, in better visual, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the colors and then we're going to reduce the opacity. So let's reduce it to something like 70%. I think it should be fine. And now our visualization will just look really professional and you can see the overlapping between data points. All right, so there is another design that to assign a shape for each cluster. So before we do that, I want to have again the big picture. I will remove the filter. So let's just remove the filter from here to somewhere else. And with that, we are back to original view. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take the cluster and put it on the shapes. So let's drag and drop the cluster on the marks over here on the shapes. So as you can see, for each cluster, we have a shape, we have the plus, square and circle. And if you want to assign different shapes, what you're gonna do is click on the shapes. And now we can go over here and change the shape of cluster. Let's say instead of plus for the cluster three, we're gonna have X. And let's click OK. And now instead of plus, we have X's. So this is how I usually design the clusters in Tableau. All right, so now after we create the clusters, it's really important to interpret the outcomes of the clusters with the business. Like in one hand, we have the red cluster focus on the customers with the high profits. And in the other hand, we have the blue cluster focus on the customers with the low profits. So clustering your customers based on the sales and profit can help you to gain insights about your customers, which can help the business to target its marketing strategy very effectively. All right, so now we have the following task for you. The task says to identify the top selling products by clustering the products based on the quantity and the profits. Create five clusters using the big data source. You can pause the video right now to do the task, then resume it once you are done. All right, so now let's create the cluster for the products. Here we need two measures. We have the profit and the quantity. So let's have first the profits. We can drag and drop it here in the rows. And then we're going to take the quantities on the columns. And now we need the dimension to define the level of details, the data points. And here we're going to use either the product ID or the product name. So I will go now for the product name. So drag and drop it on the details. All right, so now we have everything. We have the measures and the dimension. And we're going to go and create the cluster. So we go to the analytics pane. And then we take the cluster, drag and drop it over here. And Tableau did create here only two clusters. But the task says five clusters. So we're going to go over here and define five. All right, so that's it. Now we have five clusters for the products. Let's close this. So clustering the products based on the quantity and the profits can help you to gain insights about the product portfolio. And the business can use it for many stuff for example, to optimize the inventory management and make strategic decisions about the product development and marketing. So this is really amazing. 
Alright, so now let's summarize. The cluster group in Tableau is a statistical technique to group up similar data points together in clusters. The cluster algorithm used in Tableau is the k-means, easy to implement and as well easy to understand. Clustering in Tableau is one of the main features and very powerful since Tableau is the only tool, the only BI tool that can plot endless amount of data points. Because other BI tools like Power BI, they always like make limitations on the number of the data points that you can see in the visualization, which can make it really impossible to create clusters in Power BI. And data clustering in visualization is a very powerful tool for data analysis and pattern recognitions to help the business and the organizations to be data driven, which means to make better decisions using the data. Alright guys, so that was it for the cluster groups and next we will learn how to split the values of dimension into two subsets using the Tableau sets. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.